What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we are continuing our series with advanced side mount penetration dives and we are coming close to the end of our bus penetrations. We got two more that we're going to show you. In today's video, we're going to do an extremely tight penetration and this is definitely one that I want to encourage you not to go out to do. I'm just showing you advanced techniques techniques here and David's actually going to demonstrate a dive that both him and I've made several times and it is an extremely tight restriction. Basically what he's going to do, he's going to penetrate the engine compartment of the bus and he's going to swim down the drive shaft and of course up underneath it. Now this is extremely dangerous to do and once again please do not go try this at home unless you're properly trained and you're properly being supervised as well. But I want to show you just the capabilities of what side mount can allow you to do with the proper techniques and training as well. Now before I start this, once again, I just want to reiterate, please do not go try these techniques. Please do not head up to Lake Phoenix and try this on your own. Make sure you get proper training in advanced side mount and penetration techniques. And also please make sure you're doing this with a buddy. Um, the risk here is very inherent and there are there is a chance that if David gets stuck up in here, then I'm not going to be able to get him out where he's at without moving the bus itself. But like I said, he is going to penetrate through the engine compartment, go down where the drive shaft would be, and then come out up underneath the boat as well. But let's go ahead and hit play and get started here. He is going to remove his right bottle. He's going to go ahead and wing it up. And you'll even see David gets a little nervous here. Right before he starts, he's going to be like, Guys, I'm not sure about this, but we're going to try it. Now, let me go ahead and reassure you, David is a very experienced advanced side mount diver and uh, been side mount diving for a very, very long time. And so he's going to go ahead and make this penetration. Now, when you do stuff like this, I would encourage you to make sure your gear is very rugged. Even if you feel safe and comfortable doing here, you can tear up your equipment very, very easy. David's gear that he's wearing, he's wearing a dive right rig, and it's very, very rugged. Uh, so he feels very confident, and we'll see if he can make it through. So he's down in the engine compartment now, and yes, he's kicking, but he's actually using his other hand, his left hand, to pull himself through there. And of course, once he comes out the end, or up underneath where the drive shaft would be, he simply pops out. He's actually popping out right where I did in last week's video, or the last video we uploaded. And we're going to watch that one more time real quick here because the techniques that David's using, once again, is, is kind of extreme here. He is going into a very, very small, tight restriction, and there's rusted metal everywhere. Once again, please do not try this at home unless you're properly trained and properly being supervised. But let's just see how good David is one more time. He chose to wing his cylinder up. And it would appear as if he is breathing actually off his left cylinder instead of his right cylinder here. And so he's going to go down. He's going to negotiate exactly how he's going to get in here. I know a lot of new divers, when you go inside a shipwreck, you try to go feet first for some reason. Always go ahead first. Always go ahead first here. So he's going to penetrate. It's an extremely tight fit. Now, I'm not sure he could have done this with both tanks on his side, and I'm not sure I would even attempt this with either tank on my side. A lot of times I'll actually wing them both up, or I'll gun one and wing one. Uh, but one benefit here, by leaving one tank attached, you still, in this case, he's got his left cylinder attached, he can pull himself along with the left arm while his right arm kind of guns that cylinder out or wings that cylinder out. And of course, he made it very safe as well. Uh, David, like I said, is a very, very experienced, or experienced advanced side mount diver. He's one of my best buds to go out and dive with. I love diving with David. Uh, he teaches me quite a bit of stuff, actually, about side mount diving, and that's one thing I really enjoy about him. But guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it was a little bit more extreme penetration. Uh, we do have one more bus penetration that we're going to talk, talk about in the very next video. My daughter's actually going to make an appearance in it and just show you how much fun you can have on this school bus as well. But guys, if you did enjoy the video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. Make sure, guys, if you got any questions on side mount, wreck diving, advanced diving, or just diving in general, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to answer it best I can and as quickly as I can as well. But guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.